Hey everyone, so we're at GTC 2018, and right now I'm in front of a $400,000 basically supercomputer. Most of that cost, of course, comes from system memory. 1.5 terabytes of that. So we just wanted to show this off and talk through it. Can't really get into too much of pulling it apart or anything like that, but we have an exploded version here with the cover removed. Uh, it's got 16 V100s in it, and then you can see the cooling apparatus, we'll call it on top, which is just a bunch of aluminum fins. We have a couple of copper blocks up front, and uh, then 16 of these aluminum fin stacks are on top of the V100s underneath. So that's the core specs. Before that, this video is brought to you by Corsair's new Dark Core RGB SE mouse. The Dark Core RGB SE is a wireless gaming mouse rated for up to 24 hours of continuous wireless gaming with the LEDs enabled and can be coupled with a Qi charging mouse pad for easy battery charging. It has both a wireless and Bluetooth antenna, so the mouse can be used easily on two systems and switched between them. Learn more at the link in the description below. In terms of power consumption, memory, things like that, NVIDIA just announced that their V100 has moved from 16 gigabytes HBM2 to 32 gigabytes of HBM2, which is what's in each one of these, totaling for 512 gigabytes of total HBM2 between all the GPUs in the system. Uh, obviously, not a gaming device. There are no gaming announcements, but this is still kind of interesting technology. So one of the other items to talk about would be power consumption, as noted, uh, a, an equivalent CPU server system, as we understand it, Skylake or something like that, would consume about, uh, I think it's 180 kilowatts was the number cited, and this is at 10 kilowatts, which considering what it does is significantly lower than the CPU equivalent system. In terms of other specs, uh, the major announcement from NVIDIA in terms of hardware was not a new GPU architecture, but the expansion to 32 gigabytes on Volta or on the V100, and then also the NV switch, which is in here. We have an article on it on the website. If you want to learn more about NV switch, you can click the article linked in the description below. Uh, but there are, ten, there are 12 NV switches in here. They are basically interconnects. They connect to all of these 16 GPUs, and they function both ways. So each GPU can communicate individually with each other GPU out of the total 16 in the system, and that's done through NV switch, which enables the bandwidth required to push that data. It's just under one terabyte uh, per second of bandwidth at 50 gigabytes per second per port, and I believe there are, I want to say, 18 ports on NV switch. Other specs for the system, two Xeon Platinums in it, as noted, 1.5 terabytes of system memory, uh, and then 30 terabytes of NVMe SSD storage as well for local processing. This is all supposed to be network attached, so the rest of it happens over the network as expected with any type of data center type of device. So I think, I think that pretty much walks you through it. If you want to buy one, it's $400,000. I'd put an affiliate link in the description so I could pick up 10,000 of commission if I could, but I don't think anyone's going to buy one. Either way, though, that's the new NVIDIA stuff. We'll talk about more and other coverage. Subscribe for that, as always. Click the link in the description below for the NV Switch article. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.